ko. Mali ba yung ginawa ng supplier? Sarah Brea? Katingin ko po, hindi naman po, Mr. Chair. O oh, yan. Ngayon ko lang tumama, Mr. Brea. At sinasabi natin dito, hindi tama na husgahan mo sa pamamagitan ng financial statement. Titingnan mo maraming bagay. Ano bang panahon natin? Di ba peligroso tayo? Di ba tayo ba ako para sabihin walang due diligence? Dahil hindi pa tinanong ng PSDBM kung saan niya pinuha yung pera, kung nanghiram siya ng pera, wala na due diligence. Hindi ba pinag-uusapan natin kung sino nakapag-deliver? Kaya dahil nung halimbawa natin, yung nakapag-deliver tayo, yung pangatlo, medyo mahal nga lang, pero nagkataon siya may supply at nag-aabubuhay yung kamag-anak mo. Kung questionin ba ng pamilya mo sapagkat hindi ka man lang tayo nagtalo. Hindi ba yung binilhan mo na yun? Tinanong mo yun kung maraming utang yun. Tinanong mo ba yung kanyang stockholders kung mga criminal records yung mga yan? Gagawin mo ba ba yun? Sir Abrea? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Wala na po kita tanong ka naman. Well, that completes the the story of yung witness nila na hindi na bumalik. Uh, apparently, the witness uh, dovetailed the uh, questions uh, and the answers which uh, Congressman Marcoleta wanted to come out from his mouth. And lumabas yung totoo. At baro yung totoo na sasabihin, hindi na nag wala na. After that, mawala. Hindi na makita. Sir, ano nga si Secretary Duque? Yung investigation ba ng PRC, yung false negative, false positive nila, may resulta ba na kasi hindi natin malaman ilan sa nagpa-swap test sa Red Cross na naging force positive so that we can approximate how many eventually contracted the disease because of the false finding. May, 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 do you have a copy of the, this investigation being conducted by the, the PRC? Or were you given a, a, at least a rundown of uh, what's happening there? Uh, well, Mr. President, uh, yung pong preliminary uh, report po sa akin ay uh, yung sa PRC Logistics and Training Center sa Subi, ito po yung uh, sumubi ng uh, mga mesopharyngeal swab dito po sa throat at saka sa, sa may uh, ilong. Yung uh, 49 out of 49, yung alamas po na not positive. So 100% lahat. No exception, lahat ng positive. That was uh, a result that was uh, released on uh, September 3. Uh, 2020. So, ang ginawa po nung mga nagkaroon yeah. ng uh, positive uh, yeah. test results sa uh, PRC sa uh, Logistic and Training Center sa Subi, nagduda po sila. So, pumunta po ngayon sila sa Medical City Clark Laboratory. At noon po, September 6, nagpaswap ulit sila, nasopharyngeal and uh, oropharyngeal swap, ang nagpositive lamang. So, 10% lang po, compared sa 100% sa kabila. Ngayon po, kasalukuyan ay nilipistigan po ng Research Institute for Tropical Medicine. At meron po silang report na lalabas pa lang na kompleto ang kanilang investigation ni Sir President by October 8. So, antayin lang po natin dahil medyo masalimuot po yung proseso ng kanila po ng uh, investigation. Dahil kinakailangan po dito, highly technical po ang proseso. At apat po ang uh, mga hakbang na kanila po uh, ginagawa. Yung number one, 
yung pag-repasit po ng mga laboratory records no pag uh, mga paginawa ng uh, testing ng uh, uh, ng PRC at uh, sinisiguro po nila kung uh, tama yung uh, testing protocol kung nasunod ba talaga yung uh, proseso. Pangalawa po ay yung pag-repaso ng tinatawag na case investigation reports. Dito po ay piniverify ka yung uh, exposure, yung symptoms, at mga iba pa po mga relevant clinical and epidemiological information. At parang po po, meron tinatawag na remote verification. Dito piniverify naman po yung uh, mga proseso na sinasagawa ng mga laboratorio at yung po mga measures or procedures. No? At uh, pang-apat po, pinakahuli yung troubleshooting proficiency test panel uh, to all concerned laboratories. Dito po, nina-verify, nina-verify yung po uh, kakayanan ng mga laboratorio na talagang tama ang kanila po pagtukoy noong uh, presensya ng tinatawag na SARS-CoV-2 viral uh, RNA at uh, titignan po nila Uh, ng uh, talagang uh, masusing uh, pangaraan yung uh, detection system na ginagamit po ng uh, laboratory. Dalawa po kasi laboratory, ilugusapan natin dito yung PRC po, na kung saan lumabas 100% ng positive yung mga healthcare workers at yung isa po sa the medical city uh, card, yun din po ay tinitignan ng uh, RITM. So, Mr. President, uh, yan lang po ang aking masasabi sa ngayon. Kinakailangan po uh, by October 8, lalabas po ang resulta ng investigation at akin po ipapahagi sa inyo. Salamat po. Salamat, uh, Secretary Rubin. Uh, it is good that there is an uh, uh, independent uh, uh, in, uh, investigating agency para when there's nothing wrong, Uh, we, will have, we can accept that. If but there is something wrong, then uh, the chairman of the Red Cross has to answer for it. Uh, it's a uh, your supervision was uh, was not done properly in the absence of uh, uh, a uh, supervised. Uh, examinations in your agency that hindi ninyo nagawa yan, uh, I think that uh, Gordon has to answer for that also. Now, I want to want to focus on my attention on what appears to be an intimidation of resource persons during the Blue Ribbon Committee. Dahil pa hindi ninyo nakuha ang sagot na gusto ninyo marinig sa isang resource person Inipulong ninyo sa at gusto pa ninyong ipalipat na sa Pasay City Jail. Na doon na nga ngayon. Ipalipat, eh, you really had him captured uh, in the Pasay City Jail. Now, let me just uh, uh, shoot the breeze with you, uh, Senator. Kaya ka di kayo yung Instagram to find out the truth. So, because if the truth is already there with you, what's the use of looking for an answer in an investigation? Magtatanong kayo kung ayaw ninyo yung sagot, magagalit kayo, tapos you threaten, you will, we will cite you in contempt, and we can detain you forever. Is that, uh, is that how is civilized? Congress uh, work? Takutan ba ito? Kaya nag-iimbestiga ka kasi gusto mong malaman na yung sagot ng tao yun yung isang ayon sa alam mo alam mo na ang totoo. Then, do not blame him because that is his truth. You just cannot assume na all together that he is lying. That could be a cut-eyed view of what and hearing should be. Kaya ka nag-investigate 
kumukuha ka ng sagot. Bakit ka makipag-debate at ang sabihin mo nagsisinangaling siya? So therefore, may sariling answer ka na. You have already in yourself the answer because Every time the resource person answers and it does not fit the thing or the solution in your mind, you threaten them and actually you did actually detain them in the past ICTJ. So, kung may alam ka na, bakit, bakit ka makipag-away? Bakit ka pa ipakulong isang tao na alam mo na pala ang sagot? Bakit ka pa mag-investiga? If you are trying to ferry it out the truth, you wait until everybody has testified. So dyan mo na makuha ang the whole picture kung ano talaga ang nangyari. You do not do it by a peaceful hearing and every time you, you ask a question yes. and you have a preconceived yes. Yes. notion of what is the correct answer, you get mad and threaten them with imprisonment. Akala ka ba ito? Ayaw na. Akala ko ba ayaw ng mga tao ang Pilipinas ng Marcelo? E tignan mo yung ginagawa ng Senado ngayon. It is just more than a Marcelo. Mote pa Marcelo, dali ka pa doon sa korte ng military, that is the etiko, before you were paid before a military or a civilian as they wanted it to be at that time. But at least there is a court hearing and he, <laughs> the person accused is afforded the right to be heard. Yan ang importante dyan. So, ang human rights gusto kong marinig kung ano rin yung sinasabi. The Constitution really provides that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Is there a due process of law if you already have the conceived, preconceived answer and if it does not dovetail your frame of mind you send him to jail. Uh, if, uh, you know, it's just a piece of my advice. I think the uh, serial tao na ano, sabi ko nga, durugin na ninyo. Yung parmalin, durugin na ninyo. Pero not at the expense of the constitutional rights of whoever is testifying there. Hindi ko rin din pinsan sa salita ng abo bilang apogato kasi nagkikita ako dito sa briefer ko, kinulong na ninyo. So what's the use of hearing? Kung may alam ka na pala na Mr. Gordon, you are the lawyer. Uh, do not try to be a lawyer and not a despot. You are not the king of Congress. Please do it for the sake of you, your, your family, and for the country. So, bago ako magtapos, marami na akong nagdaldal. Uh, yung wala na yung fish shield. Ito yun. Ito yung fish shield na gano. Ito yung nag-deteriorate. Kung lang to eh. And of course yung garter. Pero di garter as many over time mag maging maluwang yan. So you transfer the, the, the button there ilipat mo naman dito para i-fit ulit. Face you, President. Yes. Over time, kung umos itong butas, 
isang botas na lang naiwan, bumalita na lang ng garter, kalian mo lang, hindi ganun mo sa likod mo, edo tapos, ito lang ang deteriorate. Because, as I said, this is Britain. Yan ang misteryo ng Kung ganoon mo yan, yun na yun. Yan ang Christmas. Pero nandito yung para